Hello guys, my name is Eagles and I'm gonna explain to you some parts of the computer and how to customize them. The first thing I'm gonna tell you about is input device. Input device is basically a device that sends data into your computer like words, movements, or sounds. The two I'm gonna cover are the mouse and the keyboard. The mouse is your primary input for movements, while your keyboard is the primary input for words. To customize both, you need to go to the control panel and type mouse and or keyboard at the search bar. You can customize a few things for the mouse such as pointer speed, mouse acceleration, the type of cursor, etc. If you're new, give it a look. For a keyboard, you can't really change much except for repeat delay or the cursor blank rate. Not very exciting things, but that just means our keyboards are perfect. The second thing is output device. Output device is a device that sends data from your computer back to you, like a picture on the screen or vibrations. The two I'm gonna cover are the monitor and the speaker. The monitor is the thing in front of you that displays stuff and your speaker is the thing that produces sounds. To customize the monitor, you need to search display on the search bar. You can change things like how big icons are, how bright your screen is, and your display orientation. Now, for the speaker, you need to search for sound. Click on your speakers and click properties. You can change how loud it is, other enhancements, or the quality of the sound. The third thing is a system unit. A system unit is basically something that holds all the processing things in your computer together. A central motherboard, if you will. The two examples are the motherboard and the video graphics adapter. These things can be customized, but they are mostly done in real life and not through the computer. A motherboard is the place where you store the components like VGA, sound card, etc. You can really customize this. While a VGA is where the graphic processing unit lies, there all sorts of graphical things are done for lack of better words. You can sort of customize this through the pre-installed software that these kinds of things come with. And the final thing is storage. A storage is a unit that stores data, surprise surprise, like how your memory is stored in your brain. The two I'm gonna cover are the hard drive and a USB. Now, you can do much with both except probably like renaming and also allocating memories. These aren't really something you will do as beginners, so let's just sell with renaming them. To rename them, you need to right click on their names on the file explorer and click rename. That covers all of it. I hope you found this helpful or at least, you know, enough. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at my blog. Peace.